that's the fuel pump. Yeah, that's the fuel pump. That's the 2JZ started. I'm not sounding too bad. The heavy sound is because they the wastegate part was cut off. That's this. Yeah, this was this was cut off. Because it was interfering with the front chassis leg. Interfering with the chassis leg there. I don't know if you could see from here, from here to here, so it's like to cut that off. So I think it should be a whole lot quieter after that is done. So, yeah, 2ZZ GE GT45 Turbo. Some modifications on the distributor cap, it's proper rigging, but it's all temporary, making sure everything is running. Smooth mechanically, it's not too bad. So you need to just work out. So this one is not what the problem one. That's why people would normally delete it. You cut it off and um, use a piece of aluminum nail, bend it, put some kind of seal thing to make another like casing bit. Put this part to it. So it clears it, but barely anyhow, but just enough to get it running. Yeah. <clears throat> Interesting enough, if you look at the map sensor here, that's probably one of the reasons why I don't know. It says RAV4. That's a RAV4 map sensor. Yeah. And the ECU is normal. A couple of things I figured out so far on the BMW. Um... This is the starter wire that comes out here. I know that much. Um, not sure about the rest of these yet. We'll get to that one. All of them started up. I use some of the BMW stuff to, to um, get it started. Do some labeling. Labeling around. And then, uh, yeah, do it. Connect it. That's the igniter. A coil over here, there, uh, yeah. All right, all right, I'll try one more time. Start it up. All this blue one is the power, including the fuel pump. Just gonna get up, let it go. Okay, so that's it. It's in there. This one is to the starter. Go again. <laughs> Turn up the throttle a bit, open it up, go again. that now I'm going to show you the the wiring where all of these where all of these wires how all of these make sense okay because it's in a wiring diagram and that's the ECU that's the ECU there 
Oh, it's a quick one. Yeah, so this is the the wiring diagram for it. That's the website. I don't know if you could see it, but it's very good. They have a lot of stuff on there. It's good for you, even if you have GT. All right, so this this section plugs into the ECU, right? So because all this connects directly to the ECU, I wasn't too concerned about that. All right, so it's eight pins. So we go straight down. So all the way down. Pin 71 and it, it labels out and tells you everything. Okay. Alright, so this is where we are now. <clears throat> so there's a three as we saw there's an orange one, there's a white one, and a grey one. The ones and uh, two black ones also. So we will be focusing on all of them except the white one. All right? Just to get started. Alright, so it goes on. So the ones with the power, okay, this one here. It says um, number 13, 23 um, are two from this one that goes in. Let's look at what 13 and 23 says. Okay, 13 is engine, ECU, ignition switch. So this one connects to the, it's an input. That's important. Inputs and outputs. You have to know what's to go in and what's to come out. So you're looking at the inputs and what's necessary for ignition, right? So that's what that's what um, the number thirteen is. Number twenty-three. Number twenty-three is twenty-three ignition power switch, and it tells you what what happens or what does what it does, right? Right, so those are, you know, the two for this one that, you know, that's important. And this is the orange one. Okay. Let's come over here quickly, show you. This is the orange one here. That's the orange one. And that's 13 and 23. Right. So this is the gray, the gray one. That's the orange one. And these are the two black ones. Right. All right, so then the next one now is, um, right, next one is this one. Sorry, I'm not really looking through the lens of the camera. Not really used to doing this. Okay, so, all right, I made a label. This one is, um, that's important, fuel pump, but the fuel pump that is, uh, I'm doing now it's just straight from the the car itself so it's using the fuel in the tank so this one here ignition start 7 and this one here is ignition to the um, power to the coil and to the relay so all these are just positive so it's it's number one number seven and number nine I think, I think. let's see if I can get that right I think the fuel pump one is didn't use that. All right, so number seven. All right, so this is neutral. Uh, neutral switch. Or st and start engine start. I think that's input again. Start a motor relay trigger signal. That right? That goes there. Tell me whatever that that says. So that's seven. All right, that was the eight. I was telling you about. Fuel pump power and tells you what it does. Just look on, just go to the website and you see this and you know, you can make sense of it yourself. Um, this is a white one, nothing really on this for us to use. And the other two critical ones now are the last two. Let's see if I can. Right, this one. Okay. That's starter. So that goes, that's the, that's what one um, connect to your starter to start it. Because there are two, there are two powers. One goes directly to the battery and there is a one that 
triggers a solenoid. This triggers a solenoid. Um, this one, it says alternator battery voltage. That's what that's supposed to do. I haven't used that one to start. That's the main relay. So this one goes in, that one goes to power. All those ones goes to the power. Now this one is the only odd one. Number four and this. Right, number four is only see. This is constant power. That's a constant power that goes to say engine, ECU battery, battery power input. Constant battery. Okay, well, I hope that's battery power. I don't know. I hope that's right. Yeah, right. So that's that. Yeah, and it, you know, it's quite a bit of other stuff, and you know, I downloaded some other things that that be handy. Um, so, like when to wire it into the vehicle now, and everything working out. Further to what's already there, it tells you all the different pins. Um, and what's what's it responsible for what on either side so, uh, yeah that's automatic uh, neutral switch i think this is important for automatic i don't know why but i feel i feel like it, like it is because i think there needs to be something that says something to something to make it you know okay but yeah i don't know so that's what i did that's my this is my garage build 2JZ GE turbo charged GT45 turbo at the minute the, um, I'm not allowing it to get on boost because um, that's not a um, a map sensor for a turbo charge and also the injectors aren't for it so it's still stock injectors the internals for the engine are for the GTE low compression and uh yeah i think yeah yeah and it's just switch this is the belt for the, with the ac so the current belt was a shorter belting to be used but i just looped it differently so that it could work to spin the pumps and so on get everything working All right so this is my e46 this is my e46 and um yeah so far so good still a lot of work to be done all right that's my inside at the moment all right so two things to be wired in now that's the volt and the boost eventually that's the boost that's the volt and so on all right okay the drive shaft for it is not a prop shaft, it's not yet connected. So yeah, still still a bit to do, but I needed to hear it start, need to hear it run to figure out okay, what's the next move? Um, how is it functioning? I'm hearing a sound like a pang sound between the engine and the gearbox. I'm thinking it might be the um, um the the flywheel. Because how this, this, this conversion is, how they do it in some of them, is that the, you use the, the ring gear system from the automatic that bolts to the engine, right? With the um, torque converter, but you're not using the torque converter, obviously. And then you get an um, adapter. I forgot the name of the company I got that from, somewhere in Europe. But you just, you leave the original ring gear system on you bolt that in, I think you remove the space as they said, and you bolt the um, the ring gear system to, to a flywheel, and you use like an M3, M3, um, what do you call it now? Clutch, and the clutch cover slash pressure plate you could use um, M3, but I think it's not M3, it's not M3, for the E46 is for the E36 because it's the smiles on the gearbox that works. So depending on what gearbox you're using, you have to determine which one to use. Yeah, so, um, yeah. Um, yeah, it's just first video. I th thought it might be handy because I wanted to see something like this myself. 
I've seen floor starts on um, GTE, but not a GE. So um, I thought I'd just help somebody else. All these bunch of wires over here are just stuff that I'm trying to figure out for the car itself. Because that pick out, you know, what was there. And, you know, just working my way through that part. Yeah. And for now, this is my throttle cable. Right there. Um, right there, idle. That's not connected to anything yet. So it's, it's mounted down there. So it's. It, it's not connected. No, no air is going to it. No air is going into the intake as yet. All that needs to be done. So that also, you know, maybe be contributing to the, how rough it idles or how high it starts or whatnot. I don't really know. But I'll figure that out. But for the most part, I, I could tell the engine timing is good. It's, everything is working fine. The, you know, all the bits that I've been looking at, it's okay. And um, all the modifications, so sorry about that. Yeah, so that's it. All right, might post another one, I don't know. That's it, really. Hope this helps somebody out there. Maybe some bit of it, or maybe let me go in on this to see if that will help. So, on the gray ones, right, those two, right, that's the last two out here. On the orange ones, is those two the, the, I tell you go to that um, and the white one nothing is in the white one that's to the constant power to the battery see all here so this this there because the battery is to the back of the BMW so you just, just connect it to those red ones that's coming directly from the battery so that's a constant power and this one all of these these um, red and white and this green one here connects all to this blue wire and all of them connects to this power and that's power again to the factory BMW wire and this this brown one here is start at the minute but if I connect obviously this brown one to this or even connect the starter wire to this directly it will start it would switch on from the key right I want to show you why it would switch on from the key from inside hopefully I can see it's kind of dark underneath there oh no you can't see it at all it's too dark well underneath is this on the driver's side there's a little white box I don't know what they call it but it's it basically maybe it's immobilized I think is what it is but there are two wires on that there is a black one and a black and blue one so one is coming from the ignition switch and it passes through that white box and send a signal to the black and blue one. So I just cut those two, make them temporarily, check, make sure that it will work fine from the key and whatnot. I think it already goes thoroughly, I'm not sure. <laughs> we'll get to that. But for now, that's what this is. All right, hope that's not 19 minutes of your life wasted. Hope that's helpful for somebody and this is from an automatic um, car also one thing I should point out there are a lot of things out there that tells you about the conversion but back here to get it to fit I had to bang the body to get the gearbox in that's one thing to sit the engine in the correct position in the second thing is because look at the closeness between this and this if the original fan and this you know it's, it's 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 very close but you know that's what has to be done and also the sump even though it's a rear sump i still had to um modify the oil pan so it sits over the subframe and not touch on the subframe well hopefully when i get this thing up running and better i'll go through and maybe post another video stuff i've learned as i go along and so forth okay good 20 minutes